mention maybe Amanda at this point, which is related to the question. I feel that we have just reached base camp and we're, we have been equipped with the tools to now climb Mount Everest and reach the summit. And it's just a new chapter for us. There is no exit for the founders. What is going on, my future meta millionaires? It is your boy, Terry Stonkers, and welcome to my channel, baby, by the dip. And I hope you enjoyed that intro there. That is a quote from the CEO of MMAT Meta Materials, Mr. George Pala Karras. And man, that is so fitting with he said that a while back and how the momentum is starting to shift in our favor. And man, we got an action packed. Uh, jammed video for you. So all I ask in return, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment down below, check out the links down below. You can leave a super thanks, helps out the channel a lot. All right, so here we go. MMTLP is up 52% today, up $2.29. Wow, like what a day for MMTLP. Guys, the average volume now is jumping up like crazy. So the average volume is 408,000. We traded over 6.4 million volume today, almost 6.5 million. You can see there 6.466 million shares were traded today. This baby is on a moon mission. And keep in mind, guys, as we talk about this uh, momentum play leading up to a short squeeze, uh, this has huge fundamental value underlying with this, with the Oro Grande project. This ain't your typical pump and dump squeeze play or pump and dump momentum slash squeeze play. This has the Oro Grande Basin project, 3.2 billion bears of oil, 134,000 acres of land, and just lots and lots of excitement around that project. And that is the underlying value. Us uh, legacy people have been here, the OGs of this. We've been here for a long time and we know what the value is. And it's nice to see that momentum going in our favor. Here you can see on the Google here, one day chart up 52%. On the five day chart up 255%. On the one month up 346%. And on the six months is up 502%, guys. That's right. That's right. 502% in six months. I've actually been holding this for over a year. Uh, and I was buying this at like 60 cents and 80 cents. And those prices don't even register like on here because those were like the early days and you know they just don't register on there all right so let's keep going here i love pulling this up for you guys google trends is your friend that's right so here you can see mmtlp on the search and this is the past 12 months and you can see it gets momentums and right now for the october 2nd through october the 8th it has a 91 out of 100 interest on people typing in google trends and i'm going to say from the ninth through the next week, it's probably gonna be 100 because there's a lot of people uh, interested in learning what this is and wanting to know what it is. And I wanna welcome you all into the channel. We're gonna get some great information and understanding of what you're investing your money into. Like I said, a lot of us people have been in this for over a year. I'm one of those and I strongly believe that this is worth a still a lot more money that this over this $6 range. It's worth a lot more. All right, over here on Twitter today, I retweeted Mr. John Berta. John Berta is the former CEO of Torchlight, which in return is the MMTLP of today. And he tweeted out that I borrowed desk now, I only had 500 shares available. And I retweeted out here saying, guys, the shorts are running out of shares to borrow and the shorts are gonna get torched. That's what's basically happening. If you don't know what the shorts are gonna get torched is, Torchlight Energy, Merge of Meta Materials, and all the oil and gas assets became what MMTLP is today, the preferred Series A holder. Taking a look here on the iBorrow desk for MMTLP, uh, we're gonna go back here to where the day before they had 200,000 shares, and we covered that in last night's video. Leading into first thing this morning, they took it down to only 500 shares, guys. Uh, someone did return 9,500 shares, and that's where it's ended up. But look at the borrow fee. It is going up here on iBorrow desk. 22.4% of a short borrow fee now here on iBorrow Desk. So, yeah, uh, like I said, they are running out of shares to borrow, shares to lend. 
I did have someone uh, message me over Twitter, and I think they're paying like 6% or so now on Schwab if you want to lend out your shares, which none of us want to lend out our shares, but they're getting desperate. That's what that's telling us. It's great uh, to understand that the brokerages are getting desperate to get these shares. We're just beginning, guys. That's the crazy thing. And when I say just beginning, have you seen us on freaking stock twits, man? We are trending like crazy on here. Look at the trending tickers. Look who number one is. MMTLP, baby. That's right. We surpassed AMC today. When I did a tweet earlier, uh, we was trending number two. AMC was trending one. And we passed them. That's right. We passed AMC. This is the real play, man. This has, like I said, not only momentum, possible squeeze down the road, but it has huge underlying asset value underneath this ticker. Um, so that is the trending tickers. The most active, look at this. MMTLP is number two, right? And it passed AMC there. The SPY is currently number one, MMTLP number two, AMC is number three, and there's HKD. The AMDT Digital, number four. If we do anything what they did, guys, what they go over 2,000 sum a share, that can happen. Anything can happen. Not saying it's going to, but if that stock did it, why can't MMTLP and the momentum it has? All right, so I'm going to show you this here is oilprice.com. What this does is it gives you the update oil and natural gas prices. And the reason we want to follow this is because if you hold your MMTLP into NextBridge, and they sell the uh, assets and the rights that is on that Oro Grande project, it's going to be based upon a rolling average of oil and gas prices, depending on... Now, we know there's a potential of 3.2 to like 3.7 billion barrels of oil. Uh, I think it's somewhere around there. We, we just go on the low end of it at 3.2 billion barrels. And WTI crude now is at $87.09. Brent crude is at $92.45. And natural gas is at $6.44. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Uh, a lot of the calculations out there, I think we're saying around $50, in our personal opinion, is the true value of the dividend itself. But keep in mind, the $50 value is not including the natural gas value. And it could even be more than $50. That is possible. It could be. Now, this could even squeeze up past those amounts. But just keep in mind, this always has the underlying value. The biggest thing is it has to get to proven reserves. Once they get proven reserves, we are good to go. All right, so we got to talk about the other half of this play. That's right. Ticker symbol MMAT. That's right. Meta Materials themselves. And I want to highlight here the freaking volume that poured into this baby today. I know, man. I'm so hyped up here. It's like, woo. Uh, but here you can see Meta Materials up 32.96% today. Gave a little bit back after hours, but we don't care about that. Average volume is 4 million shares. We traded over 30 million shares. Let's freaking go. 30 million shares on MM18. I was talking to one of my buddies earlier. He says, man, I wish this was on Robinhood because if it was on Robinhood, MMTLP would probably be double or triple the price of where it is because you cannot buy OTC stocks on Webull and Robinhood. That's making MMTLP a little harder to buy. But if it was on Robinhood and Webull, it'd be double, triple the price guaranteed because more volume would be pouring in it. Uh, that's what a lot of the average retail traders use. Here you can see up 32.96% in the one day chart, up 52.17% on the five day and 28% in the one month. So you can see down here, we'd hit a low down here and that's where we're up to 50 some percent. All right, guys, we got some information here. Uh, this is what started the whole short squeeze here. Uh, go on my Twitter, it's my pinned tweet this was in the sa uh s1a amendment here i believe or the s12 i can't keep up there's so many so much information my head's going crazy with all this excitement around both tickers mmat and mmtlp they gave a warning to the shorts if you're holding this short you might want to consider to buy it because you're going to get uh left holding the big bag here and that's pretty uh very bullish for them to put that in the freaking s1a uh file there mr george palacaris himself uh was over here Thank you to Sakisui for being host at their new invention center in Kyoto, Japan. It's an honor to see Metamaterials Partnership highlighted our NanoWeb 5G solution on display. And there you can see we got Mr. George right there and a lot of the members here from Sakisui. And here are some pictures of the NanoWeb stuff, man. This is exciting to see. That's what I'm saying, guys. An exciting time to be a shareholder. 
is an exciting time to be a new investor in this company. Uh, you're going to get to learn a lot about this. Um, it, it's exciting times. Here you can see we got the tweet out here of MMTLP takes over AMC. Trending on stock twits is number one. Uh, keep in mind, I'm going to end it with this. If you wanted to speak with one of the OGs or all of the OGs about MMAT, MMTLP, and you want to get more information, come tomorrow to the Twitter space. That's right. Uh, it's going to be hosted here by Syntax, the queen of the metaverse. And I'm going to be on there. Ali from Trading Secrets is going to be on there. Uncle Smokey's going to be on there. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time. Now, I don't think Roller Pigeon is going to be able to make it. She already had uh, previous plans. But here you can see Tony from Market Moves is going to be on there. We got MMAT, the Meta Support Channel, going to be on there. A lot of other people that you're following on Twitter will be on this call. We're all there to support MMAT, to support MMTLP, and we're calling it MMTLP Day. That's right. So you're going to get a lot of information and get a lot of education on why us bulls, us long holders of this, are so excited about this because we've known this for a long time, and it's nice to see it play out. So. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch y'all next video, guys. Peace.